Hey guys, this is Aditya and in this video, I'm going to review a ROM for the OnePlus X which gets us Android 8.1. This ROM is based on AOSP. Android Oreo 8.1 is the latest OS provided by Google. Only 0.5% of devices have Android Oreo as their operating system. So why not be one of them? You need to have three things before you get this ROM on your phone. First, a custom recovery flashed or installed in your phone. If you don't know how to do it, don't worry, I have made a video on it. The process is same for most of the devices. Check it out in the i button. I have linked it in the description box down below as well. Secondly, you need the zip file of the ROM and lastly, the zip file of the G apps. I have got everything below in the description box, so don't worry. I'm not going to flash it here. Let me tell you some things about the ROM some features and some things that I did not like and also some features that it doesn't have. When you boot your device for the first time or whenever you reboot or boot your device, you'll instantly notice that the boot time in Oreo is halved, which is very nice. Feels like you got a SSD for your phone. Also we have a new boot animation. Let's go to the settings and let's check out the Android version if it was not obvious. Here it is, Android 8.1. You can see the new Oreo logo which confirms that this is Android Oreo. We have a white theme with a black accent going on which looks really premium. Well, we do have a few options to customize our device. The options are pretty common to ones we find in most of the custom ROMs. In terms of customizability, this one is not really customizable as compared to Lineage OS or Resurrection Remix and etc etc. One of the features of 8.1 is to get a dark or light notification panel depending on the wallpaper. In this ROM, we have that option to switch between wallpaper based, light style and dark style. This ROM comes with a very nice launcher as well. It is pretty much similar to the stock Google launcher, but it has a few changes. We have the search bar on the bottom plus a different looking widget. There are a lot of options to choose in the launcher settings. There's actually no need for a custom launcher, but then I use the Nova because it is the best. The alert slider does work. Some of the ROMs it doesn't work but in this one it does work. We get other Android 8.1 features like Bluetooth connected device status, translucency in the notification bar, a few different fonts, a new power off and restart menu and many more such things. Let us talk about the things it does not have. As the cameras on my OnePlus X are dead, I can't be sure if the camera works or not. But it doesn't come with a pre-installed camera app. So I think the camera doesn't work. But you can of course install a third party camera application and check it out for yourself. The picture in picture mode which was one of the major updates from Nougat to Oreo is still not working. I have tried in all the ways possible and it just doesn't work. I tried with the YouTube app as well as I tried with YouTube on Chrome. It doesn't work. Volte is still not on this ROM. So I think that in the near future, we won't see Volte coming to the OnePlus X. The always on mode or the always on display option is not available in this one, which is sad. In the previous one, which I tested, it did have that and it was really satisfying to have it there. Let me tell you that the battery life is somewhat similar to all the custom ROMs out there. Nothing really improved or nothing game changing in the terms of battery life. Now let me conclude this video. Overall this is a very stable ROM and I'd rate it a 7.5 out of 10. So that was pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. If you loved it then definitely hit the subscribe button. If you didn't like it then hit the dislike button and let me know in the comment section down below what went wrong or any suggestions about the content and the video in general. So yes thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye bye.